beloved soul it's melina the encoding shamanic peacemaker all right so you guys this is a pop of love um we are uh, asking what are their exact feelings for you right now this moment and what are their next move <laughs> what's gonna happen all right so um and i'm being guided to use Radley Valentine's beautiful deck here. <laughs> Not easy to shuffle. These cards are so hard and thick and big. <laughs> but uh, uh, okay, and Spirit wants me to well knock on them. And just to tune in the energy to this group that's watching this video. <laughs> And your person, what are they actually feeling, thinking, sensing about you right now? And what is their next move going to be? Let's start off what's going on in their heart and mind. And should we do that? Okay, we'll do like a Celtic cross, my type of Celtic cross. <laughs> it's not Celtic, it's uh, Melina's cross <laughs> where we use uh, we, we talk about what's going on in their mind, in their heart, and okay, we're using these ones that stuck out. What's going on in their mind, in their heart, in their body, and in their soul. All right, let's just start off with these, and I think uh, we'll do the rest after. Let me just take a look at what you can actually see. And... Um, yeah, I'm going to leave some room over here. They're actually very big, these cards. Uh, okay, I'm supposed to pull this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, um, well, I have to shuffle for the rest they're saying. Let's start off with, with the, what's going on in their mind. For water. Okay. Hmm. We have so many uh, ambulances in this town because I'm living pretty close to the hospital. Just so you know, <laughs> it's not you and all your readings that attract them all the time. This one wasn't actually anything, just so you know. So I don't know if they really trust this or believe it or they're like, I'm not sure if this is actually possible or if it can happen. Um, it's like... Uh, they are a little reluctant to see the possibilities of this relationship. What's going on in their heart? The star. Okay. Wow. It's like what comes in is it's too good to be true energy. I can't even imagine in my mind how this could actually unfold and happen it's kind of too good to be true the star energy is um in their heart they really want this they feel like you're the the right one they feel like you're you just popped into their what you call it um, in, in, into their hands, into their space, and it's. I feel like they're still in their heart trying to figure out what is going on. What is this? What's happening? It's like all this. It feels like happiness. It feels like it's right. It feels like it. It's like a success or something. Um, right. It's like what I've been waiting for. Uh, it's what I've been hoping for. It feels like a miracle. Uh, can I believe it? With my mind, can I actually trust it? I feel like their heart knows who you are to them. And here it says, happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. All right. 
So um, their heart wants to make plans and wants to create a foundation around this relationship. What's going on in their body? Ooh, we have the dreamer. I love how it's called the dreamer when we're talking about their body. I, I have a sensation that this person could be far away from you, okay? Because the far water is a little far away from the goal. It's like someone is not really recognizing or grounding something that's been handed to them or given to them from above. The star is far away, right? It's right up there in the sky, but it still is pretty far away, you know, light years away. And the dreamer is also like an esoteric kind of vibe that surrounds this relationship. So they might be in another country very far away. Um, but certainly their body is wanting this. Um, and longing to perhaps go toward you or travel toward you. Um, their body is sort of ready to take a leap of faith here. Um, and it's not only in bed, it's also how they move their physical body toward you in general. Geographically also, I feel like for a lot of you, if this is a long distance relationship or if it's an online relationship, um, it's like I, I am I'm hearing my body is ready to go, you know. Uh, what's going on in their soul? Eight of air. Uh, okay. I have to um, really feel into this, what's going on. Does their soul not want them to move? <laughs> or do does their soul, okay, what I'm getting is their soul is wanting them to see that they're actually not trapped. They can do anything they want. If this is a travel they have to go on, they can because the eight of air is an illusion of being trapped, right? So their soul is actually saying you're not trapped. Uh, in whatever life you have created, whatever responsibilities you have, whatever work you have um, committed yourself to or situation you have committed yourself to, you're uh, al always free to do whatever you want. It's just a decision away. So I feel like, uh, this their soul is saying um, you are not trapped it's up to you what you want to do and also they want their soul wants them to acknowledge that they are not trapped and then now we go to the card about their instinct and it's the world card. <laughs> okay. So um, let me just uh, figure this out because now we have to well, put them on top of each other <laughs> here um, because of the size of the cards. All right. So here we have the first one, their instinct. This world card, if this, it really, really feels like a long distance <laughs> a relationship. So if it's not for you, then, well, um, perhaps the reading is not for you. It's like, I, you know how I f you, f you can feel like longing for someone or missing someone. You can feel it in your body. That's what I've been feeling throughout the entire reading, okay? So, um... I feel like their deepest instinct is to break out of this aid of air, feeling trapped energy and just go for it. We have the fool in their body. We have three major akanas here, right? And uh, I feel like also this person could be very driven by their instincts, actually. Um, not afraid of... Um, 
well. Going on a sudden trip or being spontaneous, but in their head right now, they're stuck somewhere with the four water, okay? So it's like the circumstances is well making them not act in their mind but their heart says something else and their body certainly says something and their instincts certainly says something else what do they want we have the knight of water <laughs> knight of cups they want to go for this they definitely want to go for this there is just no doubt i feel like okay um um, I'm supposed to take the rest of the three cards I have in my hand, but the the Knight of Cups is, uh, well, the kind of knight that will follows their dreams and comes in very romantic, goes for it, uh, gives you their heart, and um, shows up and comes to get you. All right, falling in love, a wedding proposal, <laughs> the need to balance emotions and invitation. You know, it's uh, so romantic, this energy. This is what they want. All right, so, and uh, then I get two cards for, for their actions. We have seven of water here, and then we have six of air. So um, their actions is going to be to um, put everything in into some kind of balance through their planning. Um, they have different things they need to move around so that they can go for you and what it is that they actually want and make a choice, all right? Um, it's a complex decision and need to do research, but also it's a choice that's being made with the seven of water. With the six of air, <laughs> six of swords, it's, well, um, they, um, I'm looking for the word. <laughs> uh, like they, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm looking for the word, it's so annoying. Um, I'll just re read what it says. Things are, look things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip, okay? <laughs> so um, definitely they are going to take that trip toward you however far it might be from you, they're coming. <coughs> oh, sorry, that was an indication from spirit <coughs> that this is going to happen when they make me sneeze. It's like a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> uh, they make, they tickle my nose whenever they want to, um, will put in a, uh, an extra you know stample on it and the future looks bright we have ten of water right so um, <laughs> and it says a contented and rewarded family life uh, your emotional and material needs are met and trustworthy relationships look at all the blue colors we we're in the blue moon yesterday so still have the energies but look at all the blue this blue moon is manifesting the hell out of this relationship, okay? It's just, uh, yeah, uh, I'm just looking at the cards uh, to see if I should have, we should have more. Um, yeah, certainly I think these cards are just that the show up is just um, doubling up this thing, or what you call it, uh, 
telling the same story you know they're releasing some something from back home i'm getting and they're coming okay and they want to start a new passionate life with you and uh, there's love and there's passion and there's everything there's nothing that lack of anything here there's no lack <laughs> of feelings and passion here so well this is actually what's on their mind and uh, this is what they have been planning all right because of this because you are the star perhaps you are someone who is online a lot perhaps you're famous <laughs> or uh, definitely in their heart you seem to be someone really really special a miracle shown up in their life all right so um uh, very very beautiful energy comes up here for you uh, and the future looks bright the ten of water is everything you need in love everything you need in family everything you need uh, emotionally to feel happy and feel great okay so um well I feel like I have to say if there is a trip that you're thinking about having or they are thinking about having uh, go for it go for it do it all right you won't uh, regret it you will be happy you did it and uh, at least you get to know them right and you get to feel a lot of beautiful things. The emotions are all over the place in this reading. All right. So, um, and you will get to a point where you can actually decide what you want to do in the future. All right. So, um, wow. This is uh, your reading today. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope it resonates. For those of you it, which, where it doesn't, then you know what? Wait for the next reading or or look at some of my past ones. Yesterday I did three you could choose from, right? For the Blue Moon reading. So um, always like and subscribe and hit the bell button. Uh, there are so many of you has not subscribed that are watching my videos. So please do that so we can keep the flow steady in the energies. And it's for your sake actually so that my readings will resonate um, much more with you when you do this because you put your own energy just by pressing like <laughs> into my channel into this readings I'm doing all right so um this is energy work I'm I'm doing and that you're watching okay so uh, well thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope to see you next time take care <laughs>